Hello, welcome back. So this is uh, my uh, fourth flying lesson. Um, this one, in theory, should be relatively straightforward. It is entering and maintaining a level turn. <laughs> So welcome back. So again, this uh, the briefing started in the briefing room. We were talking about uh, threat error management. So what could go wrong in the flight? And on this occasion, the weather was going to be quite blowy. So for um, a lesson that's going to do uh, procedure turns, level turns, the wind could be um, could be quite a challenge. We decided though that it was um, it was okay to to fly. I would just have to be very careful on the manoeuvres and also the biggest thing that again was reinforced was keeping a clear um, lookout for other aircraft. So what are we going to do today? So we talked in the last um, uh, session for lesson three around straight. So straight flight is straight whether that be up or down and level flight is level even if the wings aren't level but the, the plane is actually if the aircraft is going um, left or right at the same altitude and that's going to be the key today so we're going to practice entering a 30 degree so quite a tight uh, banking turn uh, safely maintaining that turn safely and then what the procedure is for exiting that turn and then hopefully being on the heading that you wanted uh, to be on so the main criteria for this is the maintenance of a safe turn. So being clear that lookout, so a clear lookout for aircraft, again, don't forget we're in uncontrolled. Airspace, attitude, so what's the attitude against the horizon, and then checking in on altitude to make sure that um, your assessment of that attitude was actually correct and you maintain that altitude in a straight in a level um, in a level turn it's quite important as you move into the turn so as you move into the turn then because the wings are not level you'll start to lose um, lift and the aircraft nose is going to want to drop down and so to maintain that level turn you need to follow the discipline and the discipline are three B's. So bank first, so banking into the turn, uh, balance. So as you bank into the turn, so as you turn into the turn, you need to push around the same speed as you are turning the yoke on the rudder to balance the ball, to balance the rudder to ensure that the turn is stable and whilst doing that you need then to apply backwards pressure to allow um, to allow the aircraft to be maintaining the level turn whether that be left or right the key that I found was if you do not maintain that discipline of the balance and the back pressure then you can easily spiral down and once you spiral down into a spiraling turn then the aircraft could stall and you're in real um, trouble particularly since stalls are in a much later um, lesson and then uh, the um, the lesson then uh, expanded on that so initially there were a couple of turns just right and left um, we then focused on uh, turn into a particular um, heading so deciding the instructor stated the heading then you have to decide whether it's a right or a left turn um, and then complete the procedure so look out bank balance back pressure and that is quite tricky when you're trying to do all those things and maintain um, a proper lookout in uncontrolled airspace but here's the video um, I hope you enjoy it. You can see how the um, how the lesson progressed, and um, and I, I am really pleased with the way the GoPro works, and that should really add to, um, to how we can explain some of the later lessons.
was before I was able to taxi out the instructor reminded me that you should not use the yoke the yoke does nothing on the ground and if you put your hand on the yoke that can be quite dangerous because if you need to react in an emergency and you try and steer and nothing will happen then that will waste what might be quite important seconds. Then on the runway I just followed uh, the instructor so I had my hand on the yoke and on uh, my feet on the pedals but because of the strength of the wind it was quite buffeting and the instructor uh, took off and just walked me through the uh, takeoff. You can see it's actually uh, fairly choppy although a really really clear ish day, a few clouds but um, really quite blustery wind. So the first part uh, was the instructor just taking me through the turn, so a clear lookout, then the left hand, 30 degree turn, and then uh, just reinforcing that it's important to do lookout, attitude, instruments, lookout, attitude, instruments, lookout, attitude, instruments, and keep that work cycle going uh, throughout uh, the flight. And then it was uh, my turn. So again, we're taking a right hand turn. Uh, we're going to just move uh, 30 degrees and then maintain lookout, attitude, instrument, lookout, attitude, instrument to maintain the 30 degree uh, balanced turn. reminding me to keep uh, when I do my lookout attitude instrument to keep an eye on the uh, altitude to make sure that um, we're not actually losing height. We went through a few more of those cycles just um, making turns to the left and the right, maintaining height, maintaining the work cycle of lookout attitude instruments um, so that we don't actually get into any um, dangerous dangerous spirals that we maintain height and we maintain stability. I made a couple of errors where I just didn't actually give enough back pressure but eventually I got it and uh, turning uh, stably keeping the height last part of the lesson was turning to a particular heading and or to uh, fly towards a particular visual flight rules uh, location. Turn, good lookout, bank, balance, and back pressure to maintain the altitude on the turn. And heading back to Harden. Once again, it was a very, very windy day. Uh, crosswind landing. I was following the instructor, but the instructor did the landing this time, which I was glad that he did. It was uh, quite a bumpy ride with the wind.
and then I taxied uh, back to the parking place. Okay, that's all I've got for you this time. Um, if you if you liked it, please like it. Um, if you want to see further videos, subscribe. Please leave any comments or any ideas for future videos. I love to hear them. And uh, I'll catch you next time.